Hi, everybody. I wanted to do a quick story read aloud with you today. And it's a book that I haven't even read yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's all about. It was a choice on Epic um, for the book of the day, so I thought I would give this a try and see if I could do a little read aloud with you guys. I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying healthy, and staying at home, taking care of your families. Um, I know all of the teachers, we sure do miss you guys a lot. So let's get into our story. It's called Big Bad Bubble. And now I wonder, using that title, what is this story going to be about? And how can a bubble be bad? I wonder. Hmm. It says here, an ordinary bubble may seem pretty harmless to you. To the monsters of La La Land, however, a fragile bubble is an object of terror. So I think about that word fragile, fragile, and I think about a bubble. I think it could mean that it breaks very easily. Fragile is something that can break very easily. And it's not very terrifying to me, a bubble, but we'll see what this book is about. Terror means that you're very, very afraid of something. So the title is Big Bad Bubble. And the words are written by Adam Rubin, and all the pictures are by Daniel Selmiri. And here we have a little girl. So there's one of our characters. This book was dedicated for the annoyance, Mick, Jen, and all their other fearless friends. And then for Adrian and Will. So authors a lot of times give a dedication to a story um, to people that they love and care about for inspiring them to write it. So here we have a little girl character. You know, I wonder what's going to happen in the story. And I see this must be a bubble right here. Oh, and there's no bubble anymore. It says, you may not know this, but when a bubble pops, it doesn't just disappear. It reappears in La La Land, where the monsters live. I think I see four monsters there. And they all look very different. La La Land. Hmm. For some reason, all the big scary monsters are terrified. There's that word again, terror. Of bubbles. Of bubbles. I don't think I would be terrified of bubbles. Yerbert, what's the matter? Fruffle, why are you running away? Wumba, stop crying. Tell Wumpus to stop crying. They look awfully frightened. Turns out, it's all Mogo's fault. When he was little, a chewing gum bubble attacked his face. Since then, all he can talk about is how dangerous bubbles are. Oh, this poor little guy. That must be him when he was younger. Have you guys ever had a bubble, a bubblegum bubble attack you? I think I've gotten bubblegum stuck in my hair one time, and it was not fun. Bubbles are sneaky. You never hear them coming. Where there's one bubble, there are many bubbles. And they travel in packs. Pack is meaning more than one. Summer is the worst time for bubbles. That's when they go into a feeding frenzy. Oh my goodness. He has a whole lesson here. Today's lesson, bubble facts. They're very sneaky. They travel in packs. In the summer, they act crazy and go on feeding frenzies. Is this what you guys imagine and visualize bubbles to look like? Hmm. It says, don't listen to Mogo. He has no idea what he's talking about. I'll admit, it's a bit surprising when a bubble suddenly appears out of nowhere. But that's part of the deal with living in La La Land. On the plus side, donuts grow on trees, and the rent is very cheap. Wow, look at all these donuts on the trees. And then, wow, that's a huge house. And people are renting it for $26 a month. Wow, that's pretty 
inexpensive. Hey, look, here comes a bubble now. Gerbert, stop running around in circles. You have giant fangs. What could he use those fangs for with the bubble that he's afraid of? Mm, I wonder. All these big monsters are very frightened of this little bubble. Frufu, climb down from that tree. Look at your claws. You have pointy claws. Ooh, giant fangs, pointy claws, a fragile bubble. Wampus, get out from under those covers. You're much too big for that bed anyhow. Oh my goodness, look at how much he's trying to fit in that bed. And he even has pointy horns. So I'm thinking all these words, giant fangs, sharp claws, pointy horns. I don't know why they would be so afraid of a bubble. Bubbles kill thousands of monsters every year. No, they don't. Oh, yeah, prove it. Look, here's a bubble. It's just a thin layer of soap and water wrapped around a ball of air. It's soft and delicate. It couldn't hurt a fly. That word delicate, boys and girls, what do we think that word can mean? It says, it's just a thin layer of soap and water wrapped around a ball of air. It's soft and delicate. It couldn't hurt a fly. If I took out that word delicate and I put in another word, what other word could I use? It's soft and blank. Think about that for a second. What word would I use? I mean, fragile, they used that earlier. That means something that breaks easily. Uh, it's soft and it breaks easily. It's soft and breakable, poppable. I don't know if that's a word, but we could go with that one. You could pop it with a little finger. See? Yeah, but use your fangs. Fruful, use your claws. Wampus, don't be scared. It's just a teeny tiny. Oh, wait. That's kind of a big one. It's a little big. He's a goner. Quiet, Mango. Go on, Wampus. You can do it. Tell Wampus he can do it. You can do it. Kaboom! See, Mogo doesn't know what he's talking about. There's no reason to be afraid. Enjoy your bubble gum, Yorbert. Have fun popping your bubble wrap, Fruful. Oh boy, that is a big bath full of bubbles, Wampus. Tell Wampus to save some water for the fish. Splash, splash. Fine, maybe bubbles aren't so dangerous after all. Butterflies, on the other hand. Uh-oh, he has a book. The truth about butterflies, and they look like little monsters. I wonder if that's a book we could read. And that's by Mogo Pogo. So what was the lesson of this story, boys and girls? I want you to think about that for a second. What do you think the lesson of this story was? He says, maybe bubbles aren't so dangerous after all. So let's think. I think a lesson that we could learn from this story is that sometimes our fears um, shouldn't be fears at all. And you should try and face them whenever you have the chance because um, some things aren't so scary after all and there we have at the end now what are they running from it's not bubbles anymore now it's just this little butterfly pretty good okay and that is our book we completed it we got 105 points today and we read for 27 minutes Thank you, boys and girls, for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the story.